green anyway, so full of life and happiness. It was just, just really, really affecting to me and all my performers when we heard about the news. How did he inspire your career in comedy? Well, the thing about Robin Williams is that not only was he a consummate stand-up comedian, he was also an improv comedian, which is what we do in our, in our comedic work. And his ability to turn a phrase, to take anything that was thrown at him, and to turn that into something extremely funny, and in character too, that's something that we all looked up to him for. I was thinking about, you know, the first time that I ever saw Robin Williams, uh, I must have been five or six years old when he was in Mork and Mindy, that was his breakout role, he actually uh, played the role of Mork uh, in the Happy Days, and then of course the show became its own, and he went on, and all these movies. What was interesting though, and what I want to get your take on if I can, uh, Mark, is the idea that he continued to perform stand-up. In fact, HBO did a special uh, about five years ago. He did a 26-city uh, tour, uh, performing up on stage, doing stand-up right up until the very end. This is how he got in the business in the early 70s, and he was still doing it right up until his late uh, 50s. There was that connection with stand-up comedy. Absolutely. And it's really where you can see him come alive. Because on that stage, did he have his own material? But as the audience was reacting to him, he was able to turn that in, into even more laughter for the audience and for everybody who was paying attention. It was really, really wonderful to see him up on stage. One of the other things that we've been talking to folks about, Mark, uh, throughout the day is this idea that you often hear about comedians, some of them anyway, struggling with depression. Uh, they're up on stage, they're making us all laugh, they're connecting with us, they're engaging with us. Uh, and our reactions help them get through some of their darkest times. But in those dark times, in their personal lives, they wrestle with this. Is that true? Well, I think it's true of just about anybody there, Todd. Not only is it true for comedians, but for everyone in general. Uh, maybe comedians, because we're up there on stage, they, they think that we all have uh, lives where we're 100% you know, funny all the time. That's just not true. We have good times and bad times, too. And I think that it's just as important for everyone to be aware that everyone can be in trouble, and for everyone to be aware of how to get help when those troubling times come as well. Mark, thank you for weighing in on this. We appreciate your time. Concerning circumstances, it's still great to be here. Thank you very much, Todd. All right, we're going to turn our...